Hey there, and welcome to Move with James. In this morning wake up yoga flow, we're going to stay standing, so there's going to be no weight bearing in the wrists at all, so it is wrist free, but we're going to be moving between the front and the back of the mat while standing through strengthening and graceful fluid movements. This kind of practice is sometimes called mandala. The mandala is an ancient cosmic symbol, a circle with geometric designs in it. It represents the universe and the cosmos. And when we practice with the mandala in mind, we flow in circular fluid ways between the front and the back of the mat. If that sounds like it might be interesting, let's wake up together. So let's set up. I'd recommend you have your mat horizontal, so sideways, facing me. We're going to be flowing between the front and the back of the mat like this. So if you need to change your mat, hit pause and join me in a sec. If you're already set up, then let's begin. We're going to stand with the feet about shoulder width apart in the middle of the mat. And for a moment, allow your hands to rest either side of your legs. And let's take a deep breath in together. As you inhale, gently lift your chest. As you exhale, let's breathe out through the nose. You could close your eyes if it feels good. Tapping into a deep inhale. Deep, clarifying exhale. Inhale a sense of freshness and alertness. Exhale any sleepiness or any stagnant air from the lungs. Two more deep breaths. Just a sense of inviting calm and balance. And even if you don't feel that way yet, practice might help. Begin to open your eyes if they're closed. Following me, we're going to move the arms in a big circle. Cross your wrists, reach up overhead, and open the hands out wide in a big circle, beginning our mandala. You might breathe in. Deep exhale through the nose. Let's take a couple more. You could imagine reaching the hands up into the sky, and if it's a bit grey today, clear some of the clouds out of the way. If you're a little bit worried about the day ahead, imagine you could clear some of the stress and the worry out of the way. This is called separating clouds from Qigong and Tai Chi. Let's take one more deep breath and we're going to start to flow. Breathing in, arms lift, chest lifts. Breathing out, hands coming down beside you. From here, step your feet a little bit wider than the shoulders. Turn the toes out. Again, let's cross the wrists, but this time bend the knees a little. Exhale, hands down. This time as you lift up, knees stay bent. And let's take a side bend to the left. I'm going to mirror you today. And then let's take a side bend to the right. Gentle flowing movements, waking up the spine and your breath. See if the shoulders could be soft, even if they feel a bit stiff. Let's take one more. And then coming back into center, let's release the hands down. From here, listen closely. Can you turn your right foot to face the side? Turn your left heel out so we're in a short warrior two position. In this short warrior two, front knee over front ankle, that's your right one. And then let's breathe in, reverse warrior. Reach that right hand forwards, breathe out. Two more, starting to wake up the legs. Top hand like it could reach for sunlight, for hope for the day ahead. One more time. 
This time as you reverse, gently lengthen the front leg. And then keeping that front leg nice and long, can you rest the hand just on the thigh? Pause here. If it feels good, go a little bit lower. And if you are practicing first thing in the morning, you know, giving the body time to warm up, not going too deep. And then let's slowly come back, warrior two. This flow is gonna build if you're wondering. <laughs> Straighten the front leg and then switch the feet out. Left foot turns forwards, right heel turns out, warrior two. Baby, breathe in reverse. Reaching for light with that left hand. Imagine something delicate like a butterfly could land in the palm. So we don't stress the body. We invite a sense of strength and grace and balance. Reverse, lengthen the front leg, reach. And then gently bring the hand to the thigh and sliding down over a straight leg. It's like a mini triangle, not quite in the full pose yet. Generally, it's good not to place the hand directly on top of the knee, just because it often doesn't feel good. So choose the thigh or the shin. And then let's come back up, warrior two. From here, come back to center, turn both sets of toes in slightly. Straighten the legs, inhale, arms up overhead. As you exhale, bring the hands onto the hips. Can you inhale, lift the chest? Exhale, bend the knees a little bit, fold a little bit of the way down, send your butt back and then come back up, inhaling, straighten the legs. We're gonna strengthen the back. Exhale, knees bend, hips back, halfway down. Two more times, breathe in, breathe out. It's waking up the body bit by bit, activating what we call the prime movers. Those are the big muscles that really get you going. Okay, we're gonna to start to flow some more. Find your warrior two, right foot faces forwards, a little bit longer this time. Same as before, breathe in, reversing. Both hands this time, reaching the hands for sunlight. Two more. Exhale, reach. Keep that back leg really straight, really strong. And then reaching. This time as you reverse, lengthen the front leg. Triangle pose, reaching the right hand forwards. Maybe going a little bit lower this time, maybe onto the shin, left hand coming up. Pause and expand. We're gonna circle that top arm three times. As you circle, let your chest turn down to the ground a bit, and then up to the sky. One more. As the arm comes up, warrior two. From here, reversing, listen closely. Reach for the sun, pause. Can you bend both knees? Imagine you're carrying the sun across the mat. Pivot your feet, keep going, until you find warrior two, left foot forwards. Repeating, reverse. Feel heat building as you reach the arms forwards. Strength in the legs, lightness in the arms. You can imagine you're a tree in the breeze reaching for sunlight, reverse straight in the front leg, triangle pose, trikonasana, inhale the left arm forwards, exhale hand comes down, expand, reach out, circle the top arm forwards three times, like you could trace the orbit of a planet around a sun, cosmic energy coming to you now, warrior two, once again, let's reverse, building on this pattern, reaching for the sun. Imagine holding it between your hands, carrying it low through the hips. Warrior two, reversing. Just once reaching for the sun, we're in the flow now. This time as you reverse, straighten the front leg, triangle. Take one breath in, triangle, expand. One breath out, warrior two. Listen closely. High lunge, lift your back heel off the floor. Square your hips, arms by the ears. Dragon wings, arms back, chest forwards. Wobbling with me, <laughs> inhale up. Keep that back leg strong and straight. Keep that front knee bent and powerfully active. One more. 
This time as the arms come up, reach into the sky. Imagine bringing down some hope and courage for the day ahead. Prayer at the heart. As you exhale, turn to your right, twisting. Inhale back to center. One more time. Turn to your right, twisting. Inhale back to center. Warrior two, back heel down. Reverse, breathe in. Reach for the sun, carry it across your mat, mandala style. Warrior two. Reversing. Front knee stays bent, reach both arms forwards. Reversing, straighten the front leg. One breath in your triangle. Take a deep inhale, expand like a star. Exhale, warrior two. High lunge, back heel lifts, arms by the ears. Dragon wings. Fingers really active, folks. Breathe in. Strong back leg. Two more. You getting toasty yet? <laughs> I'm getting warm. <laughs> One more. Then as you reach, keep that back leg powerfully active. Palms gather hope and optimism to the heart. If you like little details, squeeze your butt on the right side. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the left. Inhale, center, arms by the ears. Warrior two, back heel down. Listen closely. Inhale, reverse, straighten the front leg. This time, turn the front toes in, arms wide. Turn your heels in, a little bit like you might do in ballet. Bend the knees, cross the wrists. Inhaling up. Exhale, knees wide over your ankles. One more. And this time as the hands come down, can you turn the toes in and the heels outwards? Hands on your hips again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, legs stay a little bit longer this time, halfway down, strong back muscles. Inhale, lift up halfway. This time we're gonna fold down, release your fingertips to the floor. If they don't quite reach, bend your knees, that's cool. Can you breathe in, lift your chest, get really long, and then breathe out, fold down a little bit further. We're gonna hold here. If it's available, the palms could come flat on the floor. Eventually the legs could straighten completely. A big hamstring stretch, back of the leg, and the inside of the leg. Could you keep the breath calm and steady? Deep exhales. <sighs> One more. Like you're bowing to Mother Earth, and offering her gratitude for the nourishment she brings. Slightly bend your knees as we come up to stand. Walk the feet in, hip distance apart. Mountain pose, palms together. From here, inhale, take the left arm out to the side. And can you bring the left hand to the back of your head, maybe even down the back of the neck? Take your right arm out to the side. This time, fold it behind your lower back. So I'll show you this way around. Option one, keep the hands apart. Option two, slide the hands towards each other. You can catch hold of your t-shirt. Some of you might even gently touch the fingertips. In this position, check you're not puffing your chest out. Can you bring the chest back in? And look forward, stretching the shoulder. Let's take one more deep breath here. Getting those shoulders ready for the day ahead. Breath out, release the arms. Gently change sides. Nothing too complicated. Top hand slides down, the right one. Left hand behind. My hands are there, trust me. <laughs> And then bring the ribs in, so rather than puffing the chest out, bring the chest in, but look forwards to really stretch that top shoulder. Two more breaths. So much stress and tension ends up in the neck and shoulders, right? So let's prepare them. Slowly release the arms either side. Let's separate clouds just once, breathing in. Hands coming down around you. We're going to flow again, a little bit stronger now. Step the feet wide. Turn the right foot out into your warrior two. Get a nice long stance, powerful legs. 
building on the same sequence. Breathe in reverse. Reach for the sun, breathe out. Breathe in reverse. Reach for the sun, breathe out. This time, tricky, tricky. Reach for the sun, we're gonna hold. Breathe here. Can you keep your knee above your ankle? Can you make a straight line from your left heel to your left hand? Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, left to your left hand. <laughs> Three, distracting you. Two, one, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Reach for the sun, carry the sun. Can you get really low in your hips like a sumo warrior? Warrior two. Straighten that back leg, let's reverse. Reaching for the sun. Can you really push into that left heel as you reach forwards this time? Hold, push down into that left heel. Left foot active. Straight line from right heel to right hand. You're doing great, three. Deep breaths, two. One from here, release, reverse. Reach for the sun, legs beginning to cook as you travel low through center, mandala style, warrior two. Reversing breath in, reaching for the sun just once. Reversing, this time high lunge. We're going for the twist again, back heel lifts, palms together in prayer. Option one, exhale, turn to your right and hold here. Option two, take that left elbow gently outside the left knee. Prayer twist, turning the chest, palms stay together. Three. Back leg active and strong. Two. One, release into your high lunge. From here, dragon wings. One. Lift up again. This time we're gonna hold. Dragon wings, two. Hold here, option one. Back foot stays down. Option two, back foot lifts, warrior three. Keep the back leg really straight, really lift it with me if you're lifting. Strong arms, long legs, three, two, one. Step back, high lunge, warrior two. Get ready to reverse. Reaching for the sun, the fire of the sun in the hands. Travel to the front of the mat or the side. Warrior two. Repeating that same sequence, reversing. Reaching for the sun. This time as you reverse, pause. We're gonna come into that high lunge again, arms by the ears, adjust the back foot, palms in prayer. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, twisting to your left. Squeeze those glutes. Option two, elbow outside the knee. Holding for four. Really straighten the back leg. Three. Keep turning the chest gently. Two, you've got this. One, release high lunge. Dragon wings. My front leg is shaking, is yours. <laughs> One more. Yes, I hear you cry. Reach forward, we're gonna pause here. You might keep the back foot down or maybe lifting it up with me. Standing leg can be a little bent. But the back leg is really straight, really reach through the toes. Three, two, one, step back, high lunge. From here, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Last time through the mandala, reach for the sun. Carry it to the other side. Warrior two, we're gonna reverse. It's a hands-free half moon, folks. <laughs> reach forwards. Lift the back leg, keep that right hand off the floor. Option to float high up here with me or to bring the hand a little lower. Four more breaths. If you've done many of these with me over the months, maybe getting more balance bit by bit. If you're new, it takes time. And we have time. Three, two, one. Step back, warrior two. From here, reversing. High lunge for the last time. Listen closely, coming back into the twist. Option one, twisting to the right. Option two, elbow outside the knee. Option three, with the elbow outside the knee, lean forwards, float the back leg off the floor. 
wherever you are, five. Calm breath, four. If you wobble like me, that's cool, three. Two. One, slowly release. Warrior two, Ooh. reverse, nearly there. Reach for the sun, last side. Travel to the other side of your mat. From here, reversing. And half moon. And the circular shape of the sun, like the circles we're making on the mat. Fire, heat, strength. The optimism of sunshine. Two more breaths. Nearly there. One step back, warrior two. From here, high lunge. Palms together in prayer, turning to the left. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, option one, stay here. Option two, elbow outside the knee. Option three, back leg lifting. Keep the knee and elbow together if you're lifting. Four. Three. Shaky, shaky. Two. One. Step back, high lunge. Warrior two. Reverse. Listen closely. Reach for the sun. Carry it into the middle of the mat. Pause. Knees bend, hips low. Can you share your sun with me? <laughs> Reach it forwards. Drop the hips down. Lift the pubic bone. That means lift up through here. Three. Two, one, come up to stand. Wiggle those feet in. Mountain pose. Mop oh. your brow with me, like I always say, like a Victorian lady swooning. <laughs> oh. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. Big breath out through your mouth. If there's anything weighing on your mind, breathe in. Exhale whatever is weighing on your mind. One more. Gently release the hands. From here, take the feet as wide as your shoulders. We're going to fold forwards. I'll turn side on so you can see. Bend your knees. Think about bringing your abdominal area onto your thighs. Maybe your hands rest on your knees, maybe fingers on the floor. I've got my knees really bent. But as I fold, if I want a bit more stretch, if I'm not getting that much stretch here, maybe then I straighten the legs. But if you feel a stretch with the knees bent, then great, you're in the pose. <laughs> you're getting what you need. Let your head dangle down. Gently lift through the back of your bum, stick your bum up. If you're very flexible, you might catch behind the ankles with the hands and straighten the legs as you fold. Forward folds are great for releasing tension throughout the back of your body. They also can be very calming for the brain and the mind. They have a slightly cooling quality mentally, believe it or not. Start to bend your knees. I'm going to slowly come back up. Mountain pose. Let's take a little balancing pose here. Bring your feet together, palms together. Starting to cool it down a little bit. Shift the weight into the right foot. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. It's not my day for balances. <laughs> And then can you send your hips back? This is called standing pigeon or figure four. You can look at the floor a little bit in front of you, focus your eyes, that'll help you balance. And you send your hips back, getting that deep hip stretch. Fight for the balance if you have to, like me. Two more breaths. Slowly release, replace the foot. Let's take a simple switch to the second side. Balancing poses help to focus and sharpen the mind. So they're great to do at the start of the day or before something important. But could you keep the breath gentle and calm? 
So we learn to stay calm through situations of challenge. It's one of the gifts of yoga. Let's slowly release. So we're going to come down to a seated position, even though it's a standing practice. Just to finish sitting on the ground. So come down into an easy or loose cross-legged position. And as a little tip, think about taking the feet a bit more under the knees. That can help the hips. Could you take your right hand out to the side? Gently rest the palm on the ground if it feels comfortable. And breathe in with me, left arm up by the ear, side bending. You know that the back can get really tight throughout the day. So just going to give it one last little stretch here. Take that top hand to the back of your head. And then can you turn your chest towards the sky like you're sunbathing? Wouldn't that be nice? And then very mindfully, in slow motion, start to turn your chest to face the ground, almost pointing the top elbow to the right knee until you feel a good stretch in the back. And then repeat that a couple times. So follow what feels good here. If you find an angle that really gives you a nice stretch, you could breathe there for a little bit, but not forcing or pushing anything. And then when you're ready, we'll gently release and switch sides. Hand like a offering to the sky. So many traditions and philosophies and Ancient myths involve gods or goddesses in the sky. <laughs> Maybe it's heaven for you. And that sense of reverence, looking to the sky, but also honouring the earth beneath our feet as we turn downwards. And these practices might help us live harmonious, helpful, good-hearted lives between this earth and this sky we find ourselves. As you come back to center, it's going to take a moment to fold over the legs, final posture. You could use your hands behind you as well if it's difficult to sit up here, if your hips feel really tight, it's okay. They'll release bit by bit over time. And let's slowly come back up to close sitting. As nice as lying down would be, let's keep the energy upright as we move forwards into the day. Invitation to rest the hands on your legs or on the front of your body somewhere. Maybe close the eyes and just bow your head a tiny little bit to yourself. Let's take one moment, mini meditation. Follow your breath in, feel it in your body. Follow your breath out. You might repeat in your mind with me. Breathing in, I calm my body and mind. Breathing out, I smile inwardly. I smile inwardly. Breathing in, I calm my body and mind. Breathing out, I smile. One more. When you feel ready, gently opening your eyes, and I'm taking a little bow to you, wishing you a good day ahead with the right balance between productivity and relaxation. <laughs> so as always, thank you so much for joining. Let me know how you found this practice, if it was a nice way to start your day. I'd love to hear what's working for you so I can keep offering great new videos that support you, whatever you are doing in your practice. Until next time, see you later.